Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to David Plays. My name is David and today we're playing Sims 4. I've actually been very interested in playing a Sims game for a very, 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 very long time. But this will actually be the first time I'm going to be playing a Sims game. So, here we go. This is Sims 4. Let's click play and see what adventures it will bring us. Oh, okay, so first I get to customize my character, I suppose. Welcome to Create a Sim. Here, in Create a Sim, the story of your sim begins. We'll show you how to name them, design their personalities, how they look, and when they're perfect, we'll show you how to move them into a new home and take control of their lives. <laughs> Alright then, so we have some pink pants. Beautiful. I mean, I think I'm perfect. Let's go right ahead then. <laughs> Do I want to be a boy or a girl? Ooh, how's it going, girl? Personality panel. Define your sim's gender, age, relationship, and other details here. Ooh, should I be a child? Should I be a young bachelor? Wait a minute, what is- Oh, this is a teenager. This is the young bachelor. This is the grown man. And this is the old man. Child, teen, young adult, adult. Let's go with the young adult. Default walk style? Oh, you can have different walk styles. Dang. Perky walk? Snooty walk? Swagger walk? Feminine walk? Thoth walk? Goofy walk? Sluggish walk? Bouncy walk. Let's go with the bouncy walk. Or what about the swagger walk? You know, the swagger walk is just, just more me, you know? It's just, I have so much swagger. That's just a normal one, I guess. Or is it the tough walk that I do? I don't know. Probably, it's probably more like this, my walk. More similar to that. Let's go with normal walk. <laughs> what is he even saying? If you'll say, Deroy Benarla, Ribosa Ishe. Sure. Is that in an actual language or just like in a Sims language? Aspiration. An aspiration is your Sims lifelong goal. Click an aspiration button to choose one. Ah, oh, so each life goal has different traits. Athletic high metabolism. It's easier to stay fit and trim when you have a high metabolism. Should I go with love, fortune, knowledge, deviance, creativity? Let's go with fortune. Do I want the mansion, Baron? The Sims is all about owning the biggest, fanciest home or fabulously wealthy. The Sim wants to get rich and have a successful career. Let's go with the mansion, Baron. So I guess this is secondary traits. Okay, let's use creative as a secondary trait. Wait a minute, there's way more traits than just that. There's so many of them. Let's use geek. Let's go with ambitious. Oh, and I don't have any more space. All right, let's see. Hello, my name is... Physical features, you've chosen who your sim is, now let's choose how they look. We'll help you pick a style that matches that personality. Let's, uh, first name, David. Last name, place. Okay, body manipulation, click on your sim's body to modify the physical appearance by dragging and pulling the mouse. Alright. Okay, there you go. Okay, randomize, randomize, randomize. Alright. Randomize. So many options. Okay, this has been way too many options. I'm gonna go way back, way back, way back, way back. Trying to find something, the, w the one that I like the most, probably. Let's try to look for that. Let's just go for that. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. The microphone is a great way to practice combat skills and blah, blah, blah. Moving in. The teams need a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. The home you choose offers uh, you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry, you can always visit or move to any of the worlds in Sim 4. Oasis Springs? With dinosaurs? Or Willow Creek? You know what, I think Willow Creek is more my style, let's do it. Sims cannot live uh, on non-residential lots. Okay, so I'm just starting out, so I should probably save my money for other activities and spend the least amount of money on my first house. So I'm gonna buy my house here in Bargain Band. Let's do it. The Kin, household is moving. Could this be the perfect home? I think so, I think so. There you go. Hit F4 to open gallery, let's see. Oh. They tricked me! <laughs> These are just basic tips, I guess. Tips and tricks. Taking control. There are so many new features in Sims 4. Before you can get to all of them, we need to cover the basics first. We'll click learn how to control your Sims. Scroll. Okay, this is how you zoom in and out. Wait, wait, wait. 
There you go. All right, then. Playing with emotions, the sim can experience an entire range of emotions that will change their lives in big and small ways. We're going to make your sim inspired to demonstrate how one of these emotions works. From there, their emotional lives will be in your hands. <laughs> All right, my sim is happy, apparently, and he's inspired. Burst of inspiration. The sim is feeling a sudden burst of inspiration. Inspired for three hours, all right. So we have these things we can do. Buy an instrument from being inspired. Purchase an instrument from build mode. Look at them in your study room sort. sort. All right. Okay, where is this uh, study room of which you speak? Purchase an instrument from build mode. Build mode, there you go, found it. Build basics. Welcome to build mode, which in The Sims 4 is an easier to use and more powerful than ever. With a little bit of help, you'll be designing incredible homes and building in no time. Okay, so I can build rooms and I put them together to build the house, I guess? I don't know. Let's start by buying the cheapest things right now. So how about we buy this room and we put it right here. There you go. How do we build like hallways and stuff? I guess I'll buy a dining room first. Buy room. I'll put it here. There you go. We'll buy a living room. We'll buy this living room. Put it right here. We'll buy a bedroom. Put it here. Wait, I guess I need to connect them like this. There you go. And I'll buy a bathroom. There you go. That seems good enough for my father's house, I think. You can also build new rooms from scratch. We will build something here. This will be our little entryway. There you go. And I need a door for my house. There you go. That looks pretty good. Now what? <laughs> Akora Kin. I, I thought I chose my own name. What happened? Purchase an instrument from build mode. Look for them in the study room sort. All right. So we're going to go here. So I have to buy a, an instrument. Should I go with the violin? Acoustic guitar? Let's go with the piano. That's an expensive instrument, but you know, I'm inspired. What can I say? I cannot put it anywhere. Dang it. Fine. Never mind, never mind. Can I knock things down in this game? Yes, I can. Sledgehammer tool. If you want to kill weekly demolish one thing or many things, use the sledgehammer tool. Very well. There you go. We're gonna delete that. We're gonna make this room a little bit bigger. Just like that. Wait, did that do anything? That didn't do anything. Where are my walls? Oh, I'm an idiot. I made a basement. There you go. I'm gonna go with the sledgehammer. Destroy these walls. There you go. Now I'm gonna get my door. Put it here. And I'm gonna get my piano and put it right here. Woohoo! We did it! There we go! Let's go home. I guess I am home. <laughs> I wish he would, would go inside the house and, you know, play his new instrument, I guess. Does he even know how to play it? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the videos that will show up uh, real soon. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. There seems to be a lot to explore in this Sims world. So let me know if you want to see more Sims videos. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.